Hi, I'm Brittany Montez and this is the Orlando Health News Review for February 22nd. We're here at the new Orlando Health Jewett Orthopedic Institute facility at our downtown Orlando campus, opening in 2023, which will elevate orthopedic care in the community. The state-of-the-art orthopedic hospital will be the only facility of its kind in Florida and will include 75 inpatient rooms, 10 operating suites, and five virtually connected operating suites that can be used to train surgeons around the world. The adjacent medical pavilion will have outpatient clinics, an imaging suite that offers advanced imaging, including virtual reality, and an ambulatory surgery center with 12 operating rooms and three procedure rooms. We're all really excited about this new institute because it's really the only facility in the southeast that brings together excellence in patient care, a streamlined experience for the patient. Everything is self-contained, your imaging, your MRIs, your surgery, your office visits, your preoperative visit, all in one facility. You don't have to drive all around the city to get these things accomplished. Also, we educate here and we do research. So those are the three things that make an institute special. And we offer that in the only facility in the Southeast of this caliber. And save the date on March 24th, all Orlando Health team members are invited to tour the first phase of our new downtown complex before it opens to the public on March 27th. Stay tuned to SWIFT for more details. And this morning, we joined a special announcement to hear that Orlando Health Orlando Regional Medical Center received ANCC magnet recognition. The commission has reviewed all of your submitted documentation and the findings from your recent site visit. As a result of the final review, it is my honor and privilege to officially notify you that the commission on magnet has unanimously voted to credential <laughs> Orlando Health has been years in the making, but I think it's a true testament to the grit and the tenacity and the commitment of this entire team at ORMC in Orlando Health. So thank you so much. It takes everybody in this building for us to be who we are as a nursing team. And I am so grateful for everyone who brought us to this moment. Uh, we will continue to strive for greatness. We are not done. Orlando Health OMC joins Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children and Orlando Health Winnie Palmer Hospital for Women and Babies as magnet designated hospitals. And in honor of February as National Heart Month, Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for Children hosted its annual heart party for former and current cardiac patients. For over 18 years, this event has provided an opportunity for doctors, nurses, and the entire medical team to reunite with children whose hearts they have healed. It can be difficult to receive a diagnosis and to um, really get through that process and um, it's, it's, it can be a lot. So for families, we just want to show our respect and appreciation for how brave these little warriors are. Inside we have a lot of our own staff and providers uh, here to reconnect, but also a lot of fun and games. I think we really strive not only to provide excellent cardiac care here in Central Florida, but also to provide a, a really family-centric experience to see a lot of our, our former patients um, that are doing so well and, it's, and a lot of them, uh, we may not see them again. They really get discharged from our, our clinic and so it's, you know, as a provider, it's always great to see them thriving and, and happy. Um, that's why we do it. And 25 patients from the Orlando Health Weight Loss and Bariatric Surgery Institute came together to ring in the new year and celebrate 1,949 pounds loss and countless health gains. The New Year, New You event was held at Orlando Health, Orlando Regional Medical Center to honor patients and their health journeys. Everybody's on their different journeys. Some of them are five years out, some of them are 10 years out, one year out, six months out. So everybody's gonna come in and share their journey, how they are, what they're doing, what their plan is. I literally changed my life entirely when I made the decision to do this surgery. That way I can have a higher and better quality life and more enjoyable ones. Some people like to to say, you guys did a great job, but it's not us, it's the patient. We just help them with the tool. But other than that, the patient that deserves everything. And have you completed your three well-being incentive activities? Here's Victoria to share more and to surprise another team member with an iPad. Have you invested in your physical, financial, and mental well-being lately? It's as easy as attending one of the events listed in your Best Place to Work website. Once done, just make sure to complete your team member well-being incentive form, and you will be entered automatically for a chance to win an iPad. Today, I am here at Orlando Health Dr. P. Phillips Hospital to congratulate Belinda Torres as this month's iPad winner. Hello, everyone! Hello. It's Belinda Torres here. We are here today.
today because we want to thank you for investing in your well-being and because you completed your well-being incentive form, <laughs> you have won this month's iPad. So congratulations! Congratulations! Yay! Thank you. Yay. And this beautiful color. Yes, these balloons are for you. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much for completing the incentive form. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Don't miss this opportunity to cash in on the 2023 incentive goal by focusing on your well-being. Head over to the Your Best Place to Work Hub on Swift to complete your form today. Well, that's it for today's edition of the Orlando Health News Review. We'll see you next week.